Hello everybody! In the third part of VSVRD Serial Switch Design and Configuration, I want to explain about how to manage E6i House and their associate uplinks. Okay, let's begin. You can choose add new host to the VDS or choose manage the existing hosts. Now, I want to select consider hosts that are attached to the VDS before this step. Remember this point. The assigned ES6i hosts can be a different cluster. It's not necessary host of a VDS be in the same cluster. In the next step, assign physical network adapters of each host. As the uplink of VDS, it's possible to set manually or choose auto-assigning. I changed their numbers to be same as the VMNIX numbering, like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Also, you can select the checkbox to auto-assign for other attached hosts in the same order. And you can see the VMNIC 5 of each host was assigned as the uplink 5 for rest of the hosts. And in step 4 and 5, you can assign VM kernel ports of uh, um, each attach ESX host to appropriate port go for host management and uh, also for uh, virtual machine networking and I will pass it away because I will show uh, this part in a, another video in this series. Also, it's uh, natural to see error like this because I migrate uh, one of the physical uplinks of standard v switch to the VSphere distributed switch. Now you can see a state of uh, uplink 3 uh, in the, the series switch um, in host configuration settings and also. Uh, information about that port, uh, it's about the CDP information. Okay, it's done. Uh, I will describe about uh, virtual machine networking um, in another post, and I hope it can be helpful for you all, guys. Thank you. See you around. If you enjoyed, do not forget to subscribe my page. Goodbye.